create custom UI buttons in Gitto. Create a new scene, a user interface scene. Go ahead and load in any scenes you want or any textures you want. Let's create a new texture button node. It's going to be a texture button node. Let's go ahead and create one. And this lets you load textures and turn them into buttons. Click on the node and in the inspector under the texture drop down, you can load in textures here. I'm going to add the normal and the press texture. We have only two and you can add as many as you want. You can see that we got two textures here. I'm using this paper texture UI and uh, I'll leave the link in the description. I'll load in the textures and uh, adjust the size accordingly. Now I'll just go ahead and do it like that. Now I'm, I want to load the texture for the press state. Make sure you load the correct textures. Then place where you want. Uh, we want to add some labels here or text. I'm going to create a label and I'm going to type in the text I want. I'm going to place it on the button. Under themes overrides, I'll change the font size and I'll load in a font. I download it and uh, I will increase the size to fit the button size let's go and this is the font I'm using it's called Edo and it's commercially free to use I'll leave the link in the description pretty good font let's go ahead and look at this so let's move on and uh, let's place our button somewhere we want and we are done we can now run our game and you'll see that our button is properly working and yeah, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and press the subscribe button. Bye.